Hello everyone, my name is Troy PM, and at no point in Geometry Dash history has Geometry Dash 2.2 been this close to actually being released ever. Among all the dramas and arguments regarding the release date of the update, you will find that there are people who are excited for nearly every single new feature that is coming in 2.2. With the huge amount of content coming in this singular update, it's pretty obvious as to why everyone is hyped up about at least one new feature that is being added to the game. Whether it be something as small as new chests being added to the chest room, to all the new possible possibilities that can now be achieved in the level editor. However, among all the hype and excitement for nearly every single new thing in 2.2, there is one pretty big feature coming to this game that, surprisingly, I see no one talking about. Despite becoming the unofficial logo for Geometry Dash 2.2, the Swing Copter game mode is one of, if not the least discussed new feature that is coming to this update. Compared to everything else that is being added to the game in this update, people just aren't as excited for the addition of this long requested game mode into the game as you might expect them to be. And whatever you think about it, it actually makes sense as to why that is. In this video, I am going to go over every reason why people aren't that excited for the swing copter being added in this update, and how its addition to this game is overall going to be pretty useless to the community. Something pretty cool that Rob Top does before every single one of his Geometry Dash updates is that he releases teaser images while he is working on the update. In the past, these teaser images didn't show too much of the update. Maybe a few new block designs, hints for a new song, and a teaser that didn't really make any sense until the update came out. Usually Rob Top would hold off on showing any new game modes in these teaser images, instead usually opting to show the portal of the new game mode just to tell people that a new game mode was coming to the update. That was until the 2.1 teaser images, where the first image released was just a photo of the spider game mode. In the end, it still worked pretty well as a teaser because people still weren't 100% sure on what it could do before the 2.1 sneak peek came out. So Robtop thought he could do the same for the first 2.2 teaser image by releasing an image of the swing copter game mode. The problem is that we could identify what this game mode was and how it worked before the 2.2 sneak peek would come out. Somewhat because the 2.2 sneak peek came out over four years after this teaser image came out, but we could infer with these little thrusters and the way the swing copter and game works, you get what I mean. We were able to infer that this was how it worked because of the fact that the swing copter had been a popular fan game mode for years at this point. Now, there have been instances of Rob Top adding game modes based on user made levels. The UFO was inspired off of an old Darnock level called Gravity Field that allowed players to jump anywhere in the level. Some people like to say that another old Darnock level called Wave Wave inspired the Wave game mode, but this has been disproven by Rob Top. An upset side to these two levels is the fact that they weren't really that popular. The only reputation they have is being levels that you could claim inspired game modes that were later added into the game, and they only gained this reputation after the updates where their game modes were added came out. Now what about the level the Swing Copter was conceived in? Well, its reputation isn't much other than being a former top extreme demon made by two of the community's biggest members at the time, with one of the reasons for the level's difficulty back then being the Swing Copter parts themselves. Obviously, this is a big problem. This means that the community has had a lot of exposure to this game mode before it's even been added yet. Since Red World's release, the Swing Copter has expanded across the community, and because of the length between the game mode's conception and the update, along with all the types of levels that the Swing Copter is prominent in, the addition of the game mode probably won't do much to expand the skill ceiling of the game, which is something I think we all would really appreciate right now. Okay, before you assume anything, I'm not one of those people who think that Geometry Dash is about to die because we're about to hit the skill ceiling of the game. I don't think that the demon list is dying because it's getting too hard. I am not trying to hold up any type of the end is near signs on your local YouTube recommended page. I think that for as long as this game has a community that is focused on pushing the game past the limits of what was once thought possible, then we'll constantly have fresh new top extreme demons popping up at all times. And surprisingly, we as a community have been able to make some really impressive top levels over the years using nothing except everything that 
that has been left with us since 2.1. But Robtop just has to throw us a bone every once in a while, i.e. release a new update. Every time a new update for the game comes out, there's a short period of time where the community slowly has to adapt to the new features of the update and figure out how to best utilize them. 2.2 will definitely have this period of time with things like the new camera controls, new triggers, new orbs, etc. But this won't happen with the swing copter because the community has already gotten the full swing copter experience. The game mode, despite not even being added yet, has already become a core part to many players' skill sets. And because of the fact that the first level the swing copter was featured in was a top extreme demon at the time, the game mode has only become more associated with levels of that difficulty. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you saw a swing copter used in, like a six star or anything below a demon rating? I asked my star grinder friend to GMD demon gamer this question who by the way is in the top 500 for star counts in the entire game and while he did recall seeing the swing copter used in a few insane rated levels he did say that he saw the game mode used a lot more in demon rated levels for a really good reason that i'll bring up later in the video so there you have it the swing copter entered the community as a hard game mode and has consistently kept that title by being in some of the hardest demons the game has to offer which means that players have not only been able to add the swing copter into their skill set, but I've also expanded the skill ceiling for the game mode way beyond than it should have. Which means that whenever the game mode does come out, instead of causing most players' skill sets to expand, their skill sets will remain exactly the same. And it would feel like there was nothing of substance in adding this game mode. Which honestly sucks. Nobody wants the new features of the game to be ones without any substance. Unfortunately, I don't think that any decision that Robtop can make regarding the swing copter could stop it from being considered a total loss on his end. In these types of videos, I like to offer a possible solution to whatever dilemma I talk about. Usually they're really unlikely to ever happen, but at least it's a way out. It doesn't totally feel like whatever I talked about was a totally unavoidable situation. This, on the other hand, I have no real idea on how it would be solved. Because the current situation is people have known about this game mode for years now. People have been using it in levels since 1.8. What could Robtop do to not only make the addition of this game mode that the community has pretty much had forever at this point feel fresh, but also not change it to the point where where people no longer want to use it. One thing Robtop could do is remove it from the update entirely, but that would be dumb. The swing copter is so essential to the branding of 2.2 that the removal of it would just feel off. It would just be weird for the swing copter not to be in 2.2. Pretty much all videos about the swing copter will age like fine milk. People who weren't informed about the removal would be confused. Pretty much everything would not go well. Well, what about changing the physics of the swing copter itself? Now I'm not talking about the very unfortunate changes to the physics coming in 2.2, which honestly really suck for top players. I'm more talking about the physics of the game mode itself. What if the swing copter were made to be more floaty or more dense? To be honest, it would suck either way. We could already make the swing copter more dense right now if we were just to use the player 2 ball instead of the player 1 ball for the main swing copter part. And obviously, this sucks. It just doesn't feel good playing like this. All my clicks feel delayed, and it just isn't fun to play unlike every other game mode in the game. If I can't stand playing with this dense of a swing copter for a few seconds, imagine how torturous it would be playing like that all the time. But what if the swing copter was more floaty instead? I don't think that would go over well for the exact same reasons why it wouldn't go well for the denser physics. I mean, the main problem with changing the physics of the swing copter is that so many players already have the existing physics down in their muscle memory that having to adapt to some floatier or denser physics is kind of pointless because they could always go back to just doing the dual ball instead. So at the end of the day, there's nothing we could really do to fix this. Removing the game mode would never make sense and making any small tweak to the game mode without right changing the fundamentals with it would probably not go too well with the community. The only way this could have been prevented would be if Red World never got that popular and nobody else discovered or popularized the swing copter after that. But of course we can't do anything about that. We can't change anything about what happened back then. So it looks like the swing copter will be subjected to the pretty awful demise of being considered the most useless feature in the biggest update of Geometry Dash. Despite everything I've said, I still think that the swing copter should be added into the game. 
don't think that this video is supposed to be shitting on the swing copter for being bad, more or less just shitting on it for being useless and not something we necessarily need, but it is something that we necessarily want. A point that I've illustrated throughout the video is the swing copter's overuse in harder levels, and that is pretty much just a byproduct of the way you need to set up the swing copter for it to work. The way you set it up requires to make the space more confined than it already is, which makes it great to use in harder levels, but not so great in the usual six stars of today. However, without a need for the swing copter to be confined anymore, it may no longer be seen in just hard levels. Which is something that I've honestly wanted to see for a long time now. Also, without the need to use the duel in order to properly set up the swing copter anymore, we could see some very cool uses of the swing copter and duel parts now. And overall, the swing copter has just become such an essential part to Geometry Dash 2.2. The hype for the update and essentially the entire Geometry Dash community that it'd be kind of awkward for Robtop to remove it right before the already awkward need to delay the update. Besides, its inclusion won't at all ruin the update. With the amount of content that is coming to the game, it is obvious that there will be many more opportunities for the game and its community to grow. And even if the swing copter won't affect the game too much, I am really excited to see what will happen over the next couple of months. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in 2.2. Bye!